Hello, Hello man, how are you? Yeah, good, very good. good. Thanks. Uh, we've got a, a wild card. We've got the wild card. It's a wild card. another vlog I hope that you guys can hear me it's a little bit breezy but um yeah fingers crossed that it's not too bad we're out here in the beautiful West Coast National Park and living in Bloberg Blair and I are very lucky because it's probably a 45 minute drive from home to get here and once you're here you're in this incredible 35,000 hectare expanse of pristine wilderness estuaries lagoons um, we've been birding this morning, nerding and birding, and um, we had the craziest sighting outside one of the bird hides. What just happened, Blair? Oh my word, probably one of the, the best wildlife sightings I've ever had. Um, for, uh, for 33 years I've been coming to the bush and I've never seen a caracal and all my mates have seen caracals and there, he's still there, he's still there, out there. Uh, uh, no, you'll never get him on that, but look at the bottom. Oh, I you're see free. him, I see him. Free. You see where he is? I think so. He's in that thick bush, he's coming out. Is he walking at the moment? No, he's standing still. Okay, then I think I do have him. He's not walking to the right, he's going to go to that road. I wonder if we should come, let's... in the back there. And watching this back while editing, I wanted to kick myself. <laughs> Every time I managed to get the caracal on camera, he was completely out of focus. And then things came into focus immediately after he had left the frame. Anyway, here's one more terrible shot of the caracal, just because. Got him, got him. Psst. I'm actually in other news testing out the Sony A6600, which I bought, it was a bit of an impulse buy yesterday. Um, for probably the past six years, I've had the Sony A5100. I don't know if that's a precise amount of years, but for a long time I've been operating off the Sony A5100. Um, cool camera, but just, yeah, very outdated and doesn't quite get me the shots that I want these days. So yeah, after debating between Canon and Sony, I was looking at the Canon EOS R, I was looking at the Sony A7 series, yeah, and just decided to, to pull the trigger on the A6600. For its price, it is unbeatable. Um, shoots 4K, shoots 120 frames. So yeah, I've kind of been working my way around the camera today, I've been trying to figure some stuff out, definitely made some errors with some of the shooting settings that I've put it on. Um, but yeah, just kind of feeling my way around it. So far, I'm loving it. Uh, increased battery life is incredible. Um, the 120 frames, also the 4K, which I'll have to have a look at in the edit. Uh, but yeah, loving the slow-mo, super chuffed so far. We're gonna get on the road and continue to see what's happening on this winter's day in the West Coast National Park. But isn't it obvious? But isn't it obvious? name suggests the park is located on the west coast of Cape Town and consists of a wide array of different habitats and landscapes. 
The main habitat is the coastal Strandfelt, dotted along the dunes, as well as a large tidal lagoon with extensive mudflats, salt marshes and reed beds. The park is home to animals such as eland, ostrich, caracal as you've seen or maybe haven't seen, <laughs> and other antelope. The park is extremely popular for two big reasons. The first is that during flower season, which it's subject to weather, but typically this is in August, around August, September, they open up Postberg section for the wildflowers, which is pretty sensational. The second is that it attracts a large array of birds with over 250 species recorded particularly the huge numbers of migratory waders which arrive around August after reaching their southernmost point of their journey. The park has facilities such as braai, or for those who aren't South African, that means barbecue areas, beaches for great picnics, ablutions, and bird hides dotted throughout. There is also accommodation that can be rented out for the weekend, and this includes chalets, older houses, and houseboats. We have come to the end of the vlog and uh, yeah, as I said, I just wanted to test out the Sony A6600. Um, so far so good. Obviously it's hard to see without putting the footage um, in Premiere and editing. So um, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll see later this evening. But first impressions, really impressed with the battery life. I gotta say the old Sony batteries were terrible. Um, great, great improvement. And apart from that, just an awesome day out. Um, yeah, in the West Coast National Park. Got a lot of new birds for our year list, which is great. And yeah, just a really cruisy, chilled day. Um, next week, towards the end of next week, we will be heading off to the bush. Um, gonna be doing an epic walking trail as well as camping in the Kruger. So yeah, looking very, very forward to that and escaping what has been a super harsh Cape Town winter so far. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next vlog, whatever that may be. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, don't forget to hit subscribe and like. Cool. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring yet another one of my videos. For those of you that don't know, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform, which allows you to very easily put together and create your own blog, online shop or website. They have award-winning ready-made templates and extremely useful features including the ability to track your site's analytics, make changes on the go via your mobile phone, and allow you to share your posts across your different social media platforms. These are just a few of their features which will hopefully set you up for all of the success in whatever you choose to create while using their platform. If you're wanting to test it out, head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and if it's something that you'd like to go ahead with, then head to squarespace.com forward slash Nicole Eddy for 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or website.